Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. A student was on a field trip to a coal mine when he unearthed signs of a wild, ancient creature. Tucked away in northern Colombia, the Cerrojone coal mine is a vital part of the nation's economy. After all, this pit pumps out a whopping 30 million tons of coal every year. But what many people don't realize, though, is that it's also been proved to be a crucial historical site, rich in ancient fossils that describe a world that existed over 60 million years ago. During a field trip to Cerrojone, one local university student stumbled upon several jaw-dropping artifacts, including a colossal-sized ancient creature that archaeologists didn't even know existed. On the surface, the Cerrojone facility seems to be a coal mine like any other. In fact, its arid landscape and lack of vegetation and wildlife arguably make it a bit of an eyesore. What most people don't realize, though, is that beneath Cerrojone's sandy surface lies an unknown ancient world just waiting to be discovered. Located just 60 miles from the Caribbean coast in northern Colombia, this area was once a tropical rainforest in prehistoric times. What's more, there's plenty to explore. With a surface area larger than that of Washington, D.C., there's plenty of land to excavate at Cerrojone in the search of historical treasures. Naturally, commercial mining activities in the area have been the main driver behind such discoveries. Seeing as the Cerrojone Soul Mine spans such a large area, it comes as no surprise that a variety of precious ancient artifacts have been uncovered here, particularly animal fossils. In fact, the mining company itself was aware of the area's paleontological riches after a few unique first-hand experiences. Back in 1990, a geologist named Henry Garcia stumbled upon a fossil lying in one of the pits. Unsure of its identity, Garcia called it the petrified branch due to its appearance. He housed the stone artifact in a display case at the site office and soon enough it was forgotten. That is, until another historical expert realized the significance years later. In 2003, paleontologist Scott Wing visited the mine, where the petrified branch caught his eye. With his curiosity piqued, Dr. Wing decided to send a photo of the fossil to a friend, fellow paleontologist Jonathan Block. Upon viewing the photograph, Dr. Block was astonished. It seemed an invaluable artifact had almost been overlooked entirely. According to Dr. Block, this fossil was far more than just a simple display piece. In fact, it was not a petrified branch at all, but rather the fossilized jawbone of an animal. Eager to confirm its authenticity, the academic hopped on a flight to Colombia to examine it further. But before any of this could happen, it had taken the work of a curious university student to get the ball rolling. Fabiani Herrera, an undergraduate student at the Industrial University of Santander, had visited the Cerrojone coal mine in 2003. As he explored the vast terrain, the geology major idly picked up a piece of sandstone. To his surprise, there was an impression from a prehistoric leaf underneath. As he continued to turn stones over, the same phenomenon occurred. Clearly, Herrera had stumbled upon something big. After identifying a trend, a flabbergasted Herrera decided to show the rocks to scientist Carlos Yaramillo, who works for Colombia's oil company. Clearly excited by this discovery, Dr. Yaramillo decided to call up Dr. Wing and invited him to join he and Herrera on a full expedition to the coal mine in 2003. Little did the team know then what astonishing discoveries awaited them. Over the course of four months, Herrera and the rest of the team engaged in an extensive fossil hunt across the Cerrojone region. In that time, the research crew explored tons of pit mines across the region, collecting over 2,000 plant specimens in the process. Soon, it became clear that Cerrojone had been a rainforest that the forerunners of many plant and animal species we see today had once called home. It was during this very expedition that Dr. Wing discovered the truth about the petrified branch on display in the office. Once Dr. Block had been alerted and had given his assessment, the team knew that they were onto something big. As the expedition came to an end, the research team immediately decided to schedule another trip to Cerrojone. It was on this trip that the now four-man team would discover the remains of a truly terrifying creature. When the date of the next expedition arrived, Dr. Block requested to see the petrified branch in person. Unfortunately, no one had a key to the display case that housed the specimen. 
By chance, though, a glass pane in the case broke as they examined the lock, allowing the team access to its contents. The petrified branch was confirmed to be a mandible, but behind it there was a second bone which seemed to be a pelvis. After the second expedition had come to an end, more researchers got involved in this ongoing project, and as they uncovered more fossils, these field workers sent photos of their discoveries to Dr. Block. It was once they began exploring the open pit in Sarahone's North Zone that the researchers made their biggest breakthrough. For five years, Dr. Block and Dr. Yeremio ensured the continuity of the Sarahone excavations. During this time, further vertebrate fossils were discovered, many of which belonged to the ancestors of modern animals. One discovery was a new species of turtle, which was five and a half feet long. Believe it or not, this wasn't even the most shocking find. As the excavation continued, more shipments of fossils were sent to the United States for further examination. In 2007, a University of Florida graduate, student named Alex Hastings, made a shocking discovery. While the latest shipment of fossils was labeled crocodile, a piece of the creature's spine suggested that this was not the case. Together with classmate and reptile specialist Jason Bork, he determined that these fossils actually belonged to an enormous snake. With knowledge of this latest revelation, Dr. Block contacted a former classmate named Jason Head, who worked at the University of Toronto. In his eyes, Dr. Head was the man who would be able to help him determine the size of the snake. Immediately, Dr. Head jetted off to the U.S., where together with the Sarahone researchers, he analyzed the fossils, only to discover something he never thought possible. After examining similar fossils from separate animals to deduce the full extent of these snakes' vertebrate, Dr. Head and his assistant were astonished to discover that these ancient creatures had been between 42 and 49 feet long, with each one weighing about 2,500 pounds. In addition to being the largest known snakes to have ever existed, they would also have been among the largest ever land animals overall. This terrifying new reptile species was nicknamed the Titanoboa. While the identity of the colossal creature may have been uncovered, the job wasn't over yet. The researchers still had to learn much about the Titanoboa's lifestyle, diet, and behavior. Soon enough, one of these giant serpent skulls was discovered at the coal mine, affording the team more opportunity to learn the secrets of this great beast. According to the Smithsonian Magazine, while analyzing the skull, the researchers found that the Titanoboa possessed rows of closely packed teeth, equipping it to consume slippery, scaly creatures. While capable of eating fish, the giant reptile's place at the top of the food chain meant it could target larger prey too. So experts believe that along with fish, this fearsome snake would have feasted on turtles and crocodiles too. A truly fascinating creature, the discovery of the Titanoboa has inspired further exploration into an ecosystem that's more than 60 million years old. Another intriguing discovery that was made at the Sarahone coal mine was a prehistoric crocodile, dubbed Anthracosuchus belrogus, which weighed up to 900 pounds. Intriguingly, the coal mine has also given us further insights into the extinction of the dinosaurs. Thanks to the research team's tireless efforts, they were able to uncover far more than just the Titanoboa. By inspecting the rocks of Sarahone, it was revealed how the meteorite that struck the Yucatan Peninsula caused an environmental crisis. Afterwards, some creatures, such as crocodiles, adapted and survived, while others were lost to the history books. Please share this with your friends and family.